How's it going, boys? Today we are playing pretty much a mono black Liliana tribal deck, and it is 100% great. We are using the three main Lilianas that uh, that have the biggest bang for their buck: the Baker of the Dead, the Dreadhorde Generalis, and Professor. Please step on me. I have been a naughty, naughty boy, and a lot of other things. We are not using, by the way, common staples, that, of which you can, by the way, use pretty easily. Uh, for example, like Mastermind's Acquisition. I feel that it's, there's no need, at least in this deck. But I'm assuming a lot of people are thinking already, looking at the deck list and thinking, why aren't you using Mastermind's Acquisition? Because I don't want to. So, that's pretty much simply it. But admittedly, you can, like, remove Cry of the Canarium or Maze Mind Stove and just put in two Mastermind's Acquisitions and call it a day if you want. Those are options. Those are viable options you could potentially do for this deck if you want to. But I personally feel absolutely no need in that. We have a lot of removal. Blood Chief's Thirst, two Fatal Pushes, four Heartless Acts, two Cries of the Canarium. Which is all fine and dandy, but considering this is Arena... There is a little bit of a problem, because you see, we've run a Pylorexia and Obliterator. Wizards is very, very stingy to let Pyrexia and Obliterator decks ever play against creature decks. So technically the removal is gonna come in handy in the cases, but you're gonna see most likely if you make this deck with the Pyrexia and Obliterator, you're not gonna see as many creature decks, which is a little bit sad because we are extremely good in the, against creature decks with all the Liliana minuses in the late portions of the game. So yeah, also we have some big creatures that gain life, for, ex uh, for example, Cla Crackle Bridge Troll, it's pretty amazing with the 4 cost Liliana's emblem. And then we have this thing, oh yes, a Priator Waifu, Shell Dread, Whispering One. She resurrects, well, pretty much Pyrexian Obliterators or Crackly Boys, which is a pretty fine combo. Also, with her and Liliana emblem, you can play Crafter, minus 2 every single turn. So. The, the turn happens, she resurrects something, it's a Playcrafter. Playcrafter minuses itself, combat happens, Playcrafter pops up, minuses himself. Essentially, if you have the Liliana emblem, one, you most likely win, oh, but if for some reason ever you need to de uh, remove the enemy's card pool, you can easily just recycle Playcrafters. Also, it's like really good in niche against Planeswalker decks, which are technically the second best decks against this. So yeah, Maze Mind's Tomb for extra draw, the same literal thing as Lackady Boy, also good against aggro decks, but again, Pyrexia and Obliterators kind of put some certain specific uh, restrictions on what you are gonna face in Arena. And, you know, we have three Cabal Strongholds, three Castle Lockwains, one Karn's Bastion. We could honestly run with two, but I'm currently running with one. It's also a safe choice to put in two. Uh, the Cabal Strongholds are neat and whatnot, but they are not necess uh, necessary, honestly, at all in this deck. Again, we are not running Mastermind's Acquisition, which means we have no sideboard, and we're not running Hailfire. But again, anytime you wish to just... Swap Maze Mind's Tombs for Mastermind's Acquisition, you can put all the Hellfires in the world in the sideboard and do whatever you want. And then obviously Cabal Stronghold becomes a more valuable card. But at this point it doesn't matter for the deck too much. So it is still your choice how you, how you choose to do this. And that's pretty much all the cards. We have a decent amount of draw with all the Lilianas. Uh, the 4 cost Lilian again, as I stated previously, a lot of times is completely overpowered against certain decks because certain decks that don't play creatures do not have enough planeswalker removal and they ha hate when someone disrupts your hand so her plus one is a little bit insane in a lot of cases and well that's that's well that's pretty much it so a very good uh, deck against aggro decks in a lot of cases because of the ab absolute amounts of mass removal and very good against big decks because Liliana's minuses are really good at dealing with big creatures and whatnot. So without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? It's a great deck, it's a fun deck. When you nowadays, when you can put in a, a, pre, a, pre, a preator, 
in your deck, it's a good day to be alive. Let's be real now. Three lands, Pyrexian Obliterator, these things. Are you a creature deck? Oh god, you're actually a creature. Wait, how did that happen? Oof. This is so rare. Again, Arena, if you make it, uh, if you make a, uh, if you make the Pyrexian Obliterator deck, Arena will not just willy-nilly give you a creature deck to verse against. It, it just doesn't happen that often, which is kind of sad. So, the biggest problem uh, for this deck is obviously dealing with enchantment decks. Extremely strong enchantment decks, an extremely annoying problem. Uh, honestly, I could use this, but I want to keep it. Oh, double of those. Okay, well, we have four mana. He may actually even see the moment he sees the Pyrexian Obliterator. But, you know, we're just gonna see how that happens. He is a white life game deck, so he still most likely is rolling with the Johnnies or, you know, stuff like this. I dislike stuff like this, so there you go. I also like that there's no... Oh, 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 oh. I'm actually surprised that this looks like a win currently. Uh, because before starting recording, I played four games. Three of them were wins, one of them was a loss. Are you gonna cage this bad boy? I think you're gonna cage this bad boy. Don't cage this bad boy. He has done nothing wrong. Oh, pacifism. That's 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 just dirty. That thing definitely does not want to be a pacifist, you know. So, eh. Man. A Pyrexian that loves knitting. I have never seen anything more disgusting in my life. Anyway, 6 mana, that is exactly the perfect amount. Vrat? You serious, my boy? Okay, Fatal pushes. As long as he doesn't drop a Planeswalker, I honestly don't care too much. Oh, man, I wish for a Liliana right about now. Imagine having a Generalis on the board. These die? Wait, what? Viscozy, viscozy me there, chief, but that's a doomscar. Why not just use the doomscar? Question mark? Pretty obvious play there, not gonna lie. Another Pyrexian. Okay, not gonna drop it. We currently have a lot of lands, we have a lot of things. I, I, he should... Is he just gonna feed me cards with the clackety boy? Because that would be awesome, not gonna lie. <laughs> that would actually be pretty awesome. I'm okay with that. Oh, he's wiping it now. Ah, well, there's just gonna be another part of What? Seriously? What are you doing, my friend? Like, legit questions. This is obviously the uh, token summon blah 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 deck, but what is he doing? Does it make a lot? Wait, what was that bond? Tap all creatures the opponent controls, gain a life link. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Cabal stronghold. How much lands have we gotten? Quite a lot, honestly. But yeah, yeah. Okay. So obvious things are obvious, I guess. And then we drop a Pyrexian Obliterator. Do I even want to drop this? Ooh, a Chubbums. Yes, 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 I know. You feel that you made a good play, but reality is different. Reality is... Oh! Now that's the reality I wish to subscribe to, boys. Look at this. This guy is so done, it's not even funny. Do I want to click it? Yes, I want to click it. There's no way he deals with the board and both Lilianas at the same time. Impossible. Ah, my friend. Bow down to the Lilianas. Kiss the boot. Hey, honestly, if I had the chance, not gonna lie. Your boy's not exactly in the simping business, but 10 out of 10 would definitely kiss boots. What can I say? I'm simple, man. Well, okay, the green does make sense, but the fact that he did. Okay, do I want to actually mine as this? You know what? It is the safe play, because he doesn't... Is it? Yeah, it is. It definitely is. I have all the advantages. Drawing two cards here, I can draw... Yeah, draw... Okay, okay. 
Uh, and I see how it is. Also, you know, minus seven. I can literally get the paddocks. Oh, big boy plays! Coming at you live! Yeah, that's obviously cute and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, it has a major flaw. You see? That's a minus seven. You see? That's a zomble. When I press this magical button, I can resurrect your things. But why would I resurrect your things if I can get this? This has trample. You will literally... A choice has been made. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm purple, I guess. Um, so, does anyone understand what's currently going on in this game? <laughs> does anyone even understand what's currently going on in this game? Is he trying to bank on the fact that he can uh, use the ulti? Yeah, I think he was trying to bank on the fact that he could use the ulti. To survive one more measly turn. Oh my god, was that just not absolute destruction? And keep in mind, most creature decks end up like this. Because we have like 12 removal cards, and most of them are one costs. If we play against these things, and you know, honestly, we don't even need Pyrexian Obliterators pretty much in this deck. But I did want something more to resurrect. Admittedly, we could like... Add something else, I guess. I don't exactly know personally what I would uh, honestly add differently. Uh, the four cost Lily on in hand. I must do it. For the sake of Lily. I must do it. I must be done. I must be do what be dine askant of me. Okay, Perixian. I don't actually care about him. Uh, let's see. A land would be superb. I wonder what... Oh, Knight's deck. Seems like knights. Spell smells like not knights, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that because that's obviously a sack play. So there you go. Now you're gonna use uh, the ramp card. That's gonna be your whole turn. And I thought it. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little bit dodgy. Okay, well, the chances are I can... Okay, yeah, I know actually what this deck is. That does not bode well for me. I'm not gonna use this, I guess. But yeah, this does not bode well for me. Um... Yep. I am gonna try and keep the board very clear, by the way. I will try it, because he is obviously gonna try and use this to get rid of Pyrexian. Or the Liliana. Honestly, I may need to make a choice at this point. Ouch! The choice is called ouch. Okay, let's see. My best play currently is quite a sad one, honestly. If he doesn't have a forbidden friendship yet again, I think we're actually good with that. If he does, well, sad. Okay, yeah, that's that's not bad. I can just kill it. Ooh, double trouble. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the kill instantaneously. The, the, I'm not even gonna... I'm, I'm not even gonna... Okay, so the bad part is here. No, actually, I can't uh, get rid of her for now. I'm kind of low on huge impacto cards. I don't like that. Uh, a Crocs. He can't even play a Crocs. Okay, he can't play this, which is the good part. Okay, wait, that's all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, can you please stop? It's getting a little bit redonkulous at this moment in time, my dude. Okay, again. Forced to do it. Otherwise, he gets rid of my Lilianas, and then we're kind of unhappy noises. Okay, do this now. I don't care about the Pyrexian. I'm just gonna uh, draw with Castle Lockwain. Uh, this is not currently going firmly in our advantages. By the way, see Village Rights. I told you he's going for the Night Witch sack play. Okay, now, now it's just like additional annoyances. Do I actually get now? Um, dude. Three Bastions. 
Okay, that's that's quite the kerfuffle. Okay, this is not bad because he is forced to actually just sack that necro uh, necrotic fumes. So now we're top decking. And when we're top decking, your boy has all the advantages. At least that's what he tells himself because reasons. Okay, now I can do this. Okay, not great, I know, I know. Boys, relax, not great. HP is a problem and... Three bastions of remembrance are definitely what you call a problem. The good part is, this is a swamp. She has swamp walking. Yeah, I bet you never seen that actually be useful. Okay, what do I what what do I really do here? There's so little I can do. The best I can try is go for a minus eight on Liliana. This cozy there, Chief, but is that okay? He has haste. Okay, so he's dealing with my- Oh, come on! The swamps! It's currently a 50% land draw ratio game. A little bit a lot unfair, don't you think? It's already kind of a lot like, obviously, forced loss with three bastions in the starting hand. God, we actually controlled him so- Wait, um, seriously? Dude, yeah, you should probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, actually, he could've just killed me. I forgot this deals three damage to face. Well, you don't exactly expect a lot from people who need to be uh, handheld by wizards like this. Well, let's draw something. Yeah, dude, three bastions. That, that, that's an absolute no. That, that is absolutely a forced loss. Three bastions right off the top, and he was playing like a 80 billion card deck. Okay, well, win raid, boys, enforced. Well played, wizards. But you see how actually well we did. Because keep in mind, wizards did not want to let us win that game. It was stacked against us in every odd, but still we did kind of like amazingly well. Yeah. It's quite fun how good black decks are, actually. Mono black decks are pretty, pretty good in a lot of cases. Because they, they have the removal, they have the things. I go first, I'm okay with that. Amazement still opening hand is always good. Two removal cards, what could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna probably... Uh, by the way, I tried to maximize maze. Ah, come on. That's just annoying. Okay, well, now... Dude, do I actually... Yep. Let's do it. I like that there's, by the way, no animation that is just like a burn or something. That's that's really cool, in my opinion. Okay, he's dropping one card. That's not bad. Ooh, you know, you know what's actually really big? Okay, I can wait, honestly, now. I don't need that lion in Vanguard to, act, to do anything. Yeah, I don't need her to do anything. Uh, alone this card is kind of useless. It's the point when three creatures on field it starts to pump up HP. That's the biggie boy play. Okay, it looks like, yeah, nice. Unless you buff it. No, he's not buffing it. Okay, I can leave this alive for now. I can leave, oh, and we're, we're on, okay, actually, let's draw first. Let's see it to believe it. Ooh, yes, that's really nice. Because, keep in mind, two six cost Lilianas. These girls control the battlefield like there's absolutely no one's business. It's absolutely great, by the way. Minus two sacrifices. Minus one sacrifice. Draw cards, do everything in any. Ooh, ah, oh, 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 Ah, uh, and that's like a huge monkey wrench in our plan. Oh, no! No! Oh, my... Dude! Can you get more literal uh, lucky? Can you get more lucky? Dude! Exact perfect card, and we don't draw removal. Oh, and all these... They're... There wasn't a world where we lose without wizards inter- Yeah, and there we go. Yeah, of course. Dude. Patented RNG, boys. 
The only card he most likely has in the deck that actually even remotely threatens us. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Ah. Uh. Where's our Pyrexian Obliterator? Obviously, it's not there against decks that don't deal with it. What do you think? It's, it's gonna just appear against the creature? Ha! <laughs> Funny! Oh, that's so painful. That is literally, by the way, so painful. Because that is most likely the only card that actually saves him. Because no sacrifice effect uh, allows me to choose what he sacrifices. Except the, uh, the six cost Liliana uh, Lilian and Nyx form. Oh, that's so painful. Man, uh, yeah, and here's the cry of the Canarium. That would have also, by the way, remedied the situation. If we had that, oh, it's just... And this is not gonna be a creature deck, by the way, obviously. You don't get a Pyrexian Obliterator against creature decks. Oh, that's... Oh, I, I can't. It literally pains me inside. How on... What, what is... Well... Four mana, actually, even, huh? Well, he gets to go first, so it's technically a sh shablazzle. Uh, yep, there's only one card that cannot deal with that. That's, 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 that's great. But the Pyrexian Obliterator is making its mark on the world. Okay, let's see. How are we actually gonna do, uh, deal with this? A Swamp. Actually, I'm gonna go for it. We have plays for the foreseeable future, so good enough. Okay. What are you gonna drop? A Valkyrie? No, that's actually good. Ooh. Well, that's gonna be extended value. That's that's like some real grade, grade A cry with Canarium value right there. Okay, I am very, I am very okay with that. And obviously a Pyrexian Obliterator, he is not gonna go for us. Wait, no, that's, that's, okay, that's good. Well, technically that's not good, but it's not bad. Okay, you think he has a cage effect? Ooh, a Heliod. Very cute. Very cute. If he has a cage effect, I'm honestly gonna be a little bit ticked. But it should be fine, right? Like, what are the chances? It has drawn three, uh, three cards in his entire... Oh, another one. Yeah, even if... Okay. Is this a free win or something? So, what are you gonna do, my dude? Ah, yes, of course! You're gonna get the only card that actually can win you the game that you have in your deck at this moment in time. Ah, what, what, what else? What else did I expect, honestly, at this point? Exactly, I expected nothing and I was still disappointed. Okay, drop this. Uh, that's... I can't... There, I can't actually... Okay, let, let's skip the pleasantries for now. Uh, okay, how are you gonna uh, buff it so it kills me? That doesn't work. Well... It goes for the Lilian? I would actually rather prefer if he goes for my face, because that is the place. Okay, what do we want, though, here? Uh, what is the exact nature of the play that we want to do? Do we want a minus 4 or minus 3 at this? Minus 3 is technically a little bit better, because it, like... And his next turn play could be, like, 2 cards. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for a Z minus 1. I am surprised he didn't kill us, but on the other hand, eh. Okay, not gonna attack because this guy is a problem. Okay, Exelon's binding! Oof, ah, wait, wait a minute. That's not the Exelon's binding I expected. Well, whatever. As long as he doesn't just play Heliod straight laced, I'm gonna be fine with it. Uh, Cabal Stronghold. You know what? Honestly, it's not that bad here. And then we can drop a Clackadee boy. Man! 
How am I not dead? Serious question though. How how am I legit not dead? <laughs> okay. At uh, at the, at the beginning of your opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. Do you know what that means? It means free real estate. Surprise! No one no one expects the Pyrexian shell dread waifu that forces to sack things. Yes, yes. Also, there is a huge chance that we just get a. Uh, a removal spell here that uh, works if he actually does something that really threatens <gasps> how does this happen <laughs> how does this happen okay attacking with one doesn't matter like he can't do anything against this what is he gonna do second excellence well there is honestly a chance but if he second Ixalan's binding and Heliod becomes uh, tangible, I can just minus 3 or minus 4. Depends on my mood. So yeah, options, options. Man, I am so surprised. This is, this, this is relatively close, you know? This is relatively, like, a lot close. Oh, he goes for the block? Well, you know, it's gonna get sacked, but honestly, my boy, seriously, unless you have an Ixalan's Binding, you can't actually win from this point. It should be too hard for you to deal with Shaleldred. Man, he even goes for the life! Ouch. Okay, cute, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't know, man, it still seems like it's not gonna exactly go in your direction. <laughs> That doesn't seem like it, not gonna lie. Okay, well, what, what's this? Ooh, finally, we actually get it. This is the Liliana I wanted. Because it just... Well, well, that's the Trinity piece. The Trinity piece. Look at this. Pyrexians. <clears throat> Good cards. Okay, what can I get back from the graveyard? Nothing. Noise. Okay, nothing it is. Okay, but he can't drop anything. Well, actually, no, he can... No, but... Yeah, well... Yeah, anything he kind of does should be, like, super pointless at this point. Because there's absolutely no way, right? There, there is absolutely no way. Anything he drops should... And this is not gonna kill us, right? This is just not killing us. I am gonna use the Lili this Liliana's plus one first, by the way. Use it or lose it. Okay, let's see. What do we get? I honestly don't care what we get. Uh, a Cotton's Bastion. Kind of want that, but hey. It doesn't matter, we're, di uh, we're sacrificing one thing anyway. And now I'm gonna force the Liliana ultimate. Okay, and do this. Whatever he's, uh, whatever he's banking on is not happening. Whatever he's banking on is not happening. And honestly, I could have actually uh, attacked first. He sacks, obviously. I think he sacks. Like, there's no reason not to sack, you know? He sacks it. Uh, what else? And maybe I could have kept the Cotton's Bastion. But, yeah, it's a small thing at this point in time. It's pretty clear that your boy is taking it home. Also, we're gonna get to see Liliana Dreadhorde Generali Salty, which is always fun. And that's, like, super cute, not gonna lie. This guy is, you know, struggling, to say the, uh, the least. But there's nothing he can drop at this rate uh, that could actually kill me. Even if he gets this and equips it, that's still 100% dead. Because I, I can just Heartless Act whatever. And Heartless Act with this Liliana means that I get two life. So again, ca y y you I don't understand why he's trying so hard. Do you think his deck like legitimately has some random thing that can uh, do anything? I don't think so. Anything he keeps in his hand is gonna be dealt by Lily. Anything he drops is gonna be dealt by Lily. Every permanent he owns is gonna be dealt by Lily. There is no rest for the wicked. Also, I guess that's cute. A little bit pointless, but I guess that's cute. There is a little bit synergy, obviously, by the way, there. But, you know, whatever. Oh! Here's the other thing that I said, remember? Playcrafter. 
Also, it scales with this Lillian, but admittedly, scaling with that at the moment is kind of, like, useless. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's a lot of draw. So, the Maze Mines... This is why, by the way, yes, this is exactly the reason why we have only two Maze Mine teams. Because it's kind of easy, if you get to the late game, uh, to start comboing things up so you have a lot of draw that's inbuilt through Synergy. Which is kind of a nice thing to see. Okay, well, is he being salty now? Well, can't blame him, he's playing Magic. This game is anything but salt, honestly, at this point. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's roping. I hope he's looking at the screen, because it's Liliana clock. God, I wish I was him getting threatened by being beat by Liliana. Oh, those are some good times. Now that's, no, that's the domestic violence I want, boys. Yeah. But, well. Yeah, oh, def yeah, definitely AFK. Dude, come on. But admittedly, it's been a while since I have seen someone rope against me. And this is what I'm saying. My manners are perfect. Maybe a little bit of that BM em emotes, uh, e emotes, but you know. Don't tell me you don't think that that's not worth it. It is. Well. What is our dude gonna do? Well, he's gonna be forced to take this. Wait, maybe he explodes. Maybe Wizards has actually changed something. Maybe now he will explode. I don't know. Again, I have not, uh, I have not seen anyone rope against me in quite some time now. I think a month or even more. Quite the rare conundrum. But yeah, dude, we got Lilian Altis to use. We we got stuff to do, and I want to do this stuff. Any moment, and uh, it's happening. Uh, well, always the play crafter. Oh, he had one of those. Okay. Well, here's more choices, my friend. Ah. Oh, wait, it actually chose it for him. Wait a minute. How does that work? Each opponent chooses a permanent day control of each type and sacrifices the rest. Heliode is... Wait, are you telling me legit? Oh, because he's an enchantment, this is an artifact. Completely did not forget, boys. It, it, all, it was in, uh, inten, in, 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 intended stupidity. Well, it's not like it matters because, you know, lo lo look at this. We can get him back. It doesn't matter. And now just attack. Oh, so good. The Lilian Onslaught just has no... Well, it literally has no breaks. <laughs> good times. I like that he even has the Heliode sleeves. Oh boy. Heliode sleeves, boys. Come on, I want to fit in one more game. Dude, come on, let's do it. See what happens, let's do it. But yeah, this guy seemingly had absolutely no chance to win against us at any point. Quite hilarious. I like it when you lose, you know you lose because it's not your fault. But, I don't mention this a lot, but... Winning a game of Arena... Feels completely hollow. It just does. Like, I perfectly understand that this guy, his dick most likely is not that bad. But he has absolutely no chance. That Sky Maul was his absolute best shot against this deck. Arena gave it to him. Still wasn't enough. Because, you know, he was not destined to win it seems like. It was admittedly close. But, you know. He was 100% fighting a losing battle. And yeah, that's that's the big problem. Most wins feel 100% hollow in this game. Because you know you didn't turn them. You you know. You you know you're getting thr uh, thrown a bone. Because otherwise, you know, risks and whatnot. 
And a classic Cabal Stronghold opening hand. Mulligan, sadly. Ah, yes, the classic, not Cabal Stronghold hand. You know what? No, uh, nah, nah, no, oops. Yeah, I sadly I need to ditch that. And also, we don't have a way to mix the decks, so if we want to get her back, it's gonna be harsh. Elf deck, I'm assuming, by the way, because this is historic. Oh, look at that! It's an elf deck! Beepity skippity, beepity boopity. Well, we do have a Pyrexian, but Pyrexians don't do anything against elf decks. My best chance is that he drops the uh, the Arc Druid. Ah, he didn't. Wait, he also didn't do anything else. Okay, this is not that bad in that case. Actually gives me a chance for the last dance. And this Pyrexian Obliterator will force him to not attack for an extended period of time. Okay, how many of these do you have in your deck? 50? A million? Dude, come on. Let's build Arena, please. Please, drop a fourth one. I dare you. I double dare you. Oh, you didn't drop a fourth one. Oh, wait, this is not an elf deck. This is a token deck. Uh, cute. You know why that's cute? Because I can drop this, and he's gonna sack. Okay, so now I know that I am... Okay, that was maybe actually not the play of the century. Not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe a little, maybe I went a little bit too hard too fast. <laughs> that was definitely what you call not the play of the century. Okay, I need to kill this dude. Admittedly, with the, with the Pyrexian Obliterator, I am killing that dude. Boys. Kind of annoying, but again, not that bad. Watch, wait. Can I? Okay, so how much do I get for this? Five. I'm not good enough to actually figure this out. He's obviously sacking. So maybe he sacks into a removal card. That's a pre removal card. Okay, good enough. I can do stuff. Stuff is my power. And he sees this Pilrixi and Obliterator, and he's definitely go thinking to himself. Not good. Not good at all. Because that Pyrexian Obliterator is killing Tyvar Kelm. Does he want it or not? No one cares. Is it happening? Oh, you can bet your sweet biscuit it's happening. Okay, and next turn I can actually do... Oh, he just goes for the play, huh? Okay. I wonder what he's gonna do. He needs removal and he probably knows this. Oh, he just does the proliferation. Okay, so... What do I want to do here? How do I actually want to do this? Wait, what? Are you insane? Are you completely insane? Dude! No way. That's eight. Even if he gets the emblem, what does it matter? He has no mana. Oh, wait, does this actually work? <laughs> will this kill him? I think it will. Yup. I have never actually done that interaction in my life, so, you know, 10 out of 10. Okay, drop this, and yeah. We're actually playing against a surprising amount of creature decks, by the way. Like, seriously, I'm surprised. I am very surprised about the creature deck amount we're playing against. Kind of seriously surprising. Well, anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. A, g a great deck and whatnot. So, let's see. This was the deck. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Mono black decks are always fantastic. So this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. Links in the description below if you want to join anything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.